Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends waiting just around the bed. I'm Reagan. And I'm Addie. Today is Friday, January 22nd. So some of you may have heard about the TOPS program. But in case you haven't, here's Yvonne to tell you more about it. What's up, Gators? I'm Yvonne. I'm here to explain to you today what TOPS is. For all of you who don't know, TOPS is Louisiana's tailored opportunity program for students. TOPS helps students pay for college and also win scholarships. In order to be eligible for ending that TOPS offers, you need to make sure that you are taking TOPS core curriculum. This curriculum includes four units of English, math, science, and social studies, two units of a foreign language, and one unit of fine arts. To make sure that you're on the right path, meet with your counselor. Over TOPS offers four different awards. The first award is the Opportunity Award. You have to have a minimum high school GPA of 2.5, 19 core units, and an ACT score of 20. The second award is the Performance Award. For this award, you need a minimum high school GPA of 3.0, 19 core units, and an ACT score of 23. The Honors Award is the third award. You need a GPA of 3.0, 19 core units, and an ACT score of 27. The last award is the Tech Award. You need a GPA of 2.5, 17 Tech core units for option one, and for option two, you need 19 Tech core units and an ACT score of 17. For more information on TOPS and these awards, go to www.osfa.state.la.us. Thanks, Yvonne. On January 7th, Poetry Out Loud held a contest at the school level. And this weekend, Poetry Out Loud will be holding their regional contest. Let's go to Kayla to find out more about what's happening. Hey Gators, a few of our fellow students competed January the 7th in the school's Poetry Out Loud competition. Our three finalists were Jason Mavini, Taniqua Ball, and Christopher Perry. All the poems that were presented come from the Poetry Out Loud website. The students must recite from memory. The students start at the school level, then move up to regionals, then to state, and then finally nationals. The Regional Poetry Out Loud competition is a Sunday, January 24th at the Norton Art Gallery. Please come out and support our students who will be performing and competing at that competition. It starts at 2 o'clock and I hope to see you there. I talked to the winner, Jason Mabini, on how he prepared to present his poem. I knew that it was talking about like a gravestone or a cemetery or something, so I, I thought that it was appropriate to kneel as if I was praying at the beginning. Congrats, guys. Good luck at regionals. Well, that's all for me. Back to you guys. tonight to see Midsummer Night's Dream at 6 o'clock here at Shreve. And also the basketball game versus Loyola tonight at 6 in the gym. And we want to give a big thank you to our generous sponsors, Broadmoor Baptist Church. Well that's all for today Gators. I'm Addie. And I'm Reagan. And this has been KGTR. KGTR. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old 